tried to fucking pull one over on me, you guys. So we're not having the easiest morning, that's for sure. We're having issues with my car battery. It needed several jumps. I'm still dealing with this car issue and I'm a little pissed off. Can I get the miles in the vehicle? I am not playing games. I am not the one. And you better not test me. On top of that, he lied to me about the price. So we're not having the easiest morning, that's for sure. Having issues with my car battery. This started last night, needed several jumps. Went to go leave to fill gas, my car wouldn't start. Derek gave me a jump. And then when I got to the gas station, when I tried starting my car again, wouldn't jump, so he had to call, do it again. Basically, my car's not holding a jump, and so the plan was to go to the bank because we needed another signature, and now my car won't go neutral because there's literally no power. So now we're waiting for Derek's dad to come and give me a jump, and then we're gonna really try and start the process. It's been, this is annoying. <laughs> Thanks for your help, though. And it doesn't help that it's pouring down rain. It's kind of our fault for not get your battery you fix one of true I don't think you guys heard him but Derek was saying it's kind of our fault because my batteries had issues several times actually you guys are aware because you guys have been with me so it's kind of our bad and yeah Derek's dad should be here any minute and we're gonna stop by the bank give them a signature that they still need and I'm gonna leave my car running <laughs> While that's going on, Derek's gonna follow me to Walmart or maybe his dad. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But welcome to a productive day. A productive knowing day in my life? I don't freaking know. But I thought I'd share because not all days are glamorous. So, taking you guys with me and um, yeah. Can you guys hear Chloe crying? Wow. And I was thinking your truck was gonna sit. Yeah. Do you have cables on Good news, we got it started. I was a little worried, but it took a second because 
it was dead all night and my battery is a little bit temperamental is that even the word i don't even know what my deal is with trying to use big words lately but yeah it's just a little touchy there's not much metal for the red clamp to grab onto so you kind of have to hold it anyways your girl's gonna get a new battery because i'm i'm over it i'm freaking over it so let's drive over to uh hagen to meet derek at the bank gonna leave my car running and then we're gonna head to walmart oh, you wouldn't do the same Sweats, I got a pair. Yeah, I'll throw them in there. Cause I love you. Okay, just got done with the bank. Derek left for work. He was gonna follow me to Walmart, but Derek's dad said that I can call him if I need him. If for whatever reason it's not my battery, which I'm almost positive it's my battery, it will be my battery. This is going to be easy breezy process, okay? I'm claiming it, I am always supported, I am always protected, everything goes my way, okay? That is what we are claiming, it is here to stay and it isn't going anywhere. So, I'm going to head to Walmart, also crossing my fingers that there isn't going to be a long wait, because I'm dying! dying to go to the gym this ruined my whole morning but that's okay and i'm still debating on whether i want to go to actually no i already made up my mind i'm gonna go to the gym do a quick workout and then send off the giveaway winners i know i'm slacking it's just been a shit show the last like week and a half yes time did get away from me but dealing with this whole banking situation like that was a mess and then me getting food poisoning and then this whole battery situation but anyways i'm adding a few extras for you guys i already messaged you guys on instagram to let you guys know what was going on so there's going to be like a cute little extra thing in there for you guys so i'm gonna quit ranting it is already what time is it actually i don't even know i would look at my clock here but i can't remember if i moved it forwards an hour or backwards an hour i don't know i think i moved it backward i can't remember i like doing that because i like feeling like i have an extra hour but i can't remember if i made it the right time oh no it's the correct time it's freaking god i'm a mess 10 59 11 o'clock a.m and there's that your girl brought her pre-workout like i have it with me but no i'm buying myself an energy drink because this morning has just been too much it's been too much i can't even deal we're good we're all set seatbelt on let's do this the universe To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. So clearly there's a long wait, which sucks because Walmart was going to be like the cheapest place, but I'm going to have to go somewhere else because I can't wait. If I turn my car off, I need to jump. That's the issue. There's a place right up the road that I'm going to see if they can help me. And sometimes I feel like when you go to auto places and you're a woman, they kind of like try and take advantage of you. Um, so, I'm hoping that that's not the issue. I'm gonna go up to this place right here. I don't know what else to do. I guess I'll just have to go from there. Okay, so I'm at Jiffy Lube. They do work on batteries. I told them the issue and he said that they could fix it. He told me that the batteries are 160. He didn't mention anything about labor, so 
um, we'll see. And it's funny, because I pulled out 200. He didn't say how long, but I told him that I couldn't shut off my car, otherwise it would need a jumpy. By the way, I hope I'm in the right place. He said park next to the Chevy, but I don't even know if this is a Chevy. And there's no other place that seems like the correct option. So I think I'm in the right one. Today's just been a hot freaking mess, I'm not gonna lie. But at the same time, I'm so unbelievably grateful. I'm just comparing me now to the old me and it's just such a night and day difference. You guys, I would have been bawling my eyes out, worrying about everything, not having money to pay for a new battery, not knowing what to do. I wouldn't have had jumps to even jump my car to begin with. Like it would have been such a freaking disaster and I would have been so emotional, distraught and worrying about shit that I have no control over. Um, so I'm just honestly truly blessed. I'm so proud of myself and it's moments like this that help me realize how far I've come. Okay, I could be mistaken, but I'm almost positive that this car in front of me is finishing up. And you guys, I just turned off the camera like a few seconds ago. So we're already back and yeah. Um, by the way, are they gonna lift me up? while I'm in the car because nobody has gotten out of their car. They're all sitting in their car while they work on it. I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. So if they raise me up, I'm going to be a little, little shaken, a little, okay. Hi. So my battery can't hold a jump and I was hoping to get a new battery. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Uh, it's a battery only on the It's only a battery on the line. It's only a battery on the line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, can I have you pop the hood, please? Yeah. So it's just the battery itself, no oil change? Uh, no, no. Okay, just yeah. the battery. Yeah. So we have the battery. Did you want to go ahead and get that? Yeah, yeah, okay. please. Um, can I get the mileage of the vehicle? Uh, 140098. Go ahead and shut it off. Okay. Can you open the door and scan the window? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay, can I get a first and last name? Kayla Shorter. What's that? Kayla Shorter. K A. Get me new battery. New battery. Did you want to leave an email address? Um, no, that's okay. Okay, uh, give me just a minute. Awesome, thank you. He actually used to work at this car place across the way. I forget what happened to my car. Basically, my brakes were rubbing against the metal and I had to replace that. I forget what it was, the brake pads or something like that. But he was the one working over there, that's funny. Um, that was like a while ago. You guys were actually with me on that day. I'll try and link the video up above. I can't even remember. We'll see. No promises, but that video does exist. It's crazy that you just sit in your car. Hmm. Interesting. Crossing my fingers that this is all it is. Crossing my fucking fingers. You guys, I'm still dealing with this car issue, and I'm a little pissed off. They put in the new battery. They were having issues or whatever, and... For whatever reason, it was getting power, but not fully. So they used one of the employee's cars to jump the battery or whatever. It started, it was running. They had me drive around for a little bit. I went to AutoZone because they said it might be corrosion. So I went to go buy some, you guys. They didn't have anything to get rid of the corrosion or whatever. Then the guy at AutoZone looked at the battery and was like, I don't think this is a new battery. It doesn't look like a new battery, okay? It doesn't look like a new battery. I'm sitting here. And he's like, yeah, it might be a connection issue. You might need to take it to a mechanic. Like, no. Like, no. I refuse to believe that. Something is going on. Something shady is going on. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Like, really? This is what we're doing now? Yeah, I'm sitting on the side of the road waiting for him to come back. He put the corrosion stuff. Tried starting it again. There's a lot more power now. But it won't fully start. There? No. No. I refuse. You guys, this is... Oh. 
Okay, so the manager just came out to talk to me, um, and he's basically saying it's not the battery, it's the starter, but he said, honestly, like, the battery was on its last leg, and I totally do agree with that. He's giving me the option to either have them take this battery out and put my old battery in so I don't have to pay and whatever, or I can pay for the battery. I wanna see that it's a brand new battery because even the guy at AutoZone said that it's not a new battery and he just told me that it was a brand new battery. So yeah, I would like to test it. I would like to test it to make sure it's a brand new battery before I pay for it because then we're gonna have issues. And he said he's gonna call and get some recommendations on where I should go, but I'm honestly just so, I don't even know what to do. Either way, they're gonna give me a jump, but I just feel like I can't help but feel like I'm being a little bamboozled. I definitely want them to test the uh, the battery because I'm not about to pay for a battery if it's not brand new. And it doesn't look brand new. Well, when I bring the battery out here, I'll show you. It'll be brand spanking new. So okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Okay. You better not be taking out this battery and showing me a good battery and then putting this battery back in. He better not be doing that shit. Okay, I'm being kind of sneaky, but he brought out a battery that's brand new. You can tell. The second I saw him walk past me with it, I could tell it was brand new. Now he's putting a brand new battery in. I swear to God, if my car starts and it's already powering up, it's not a fucking starter issue. They tried to fucking pull one over on me, you guys. It's gonna work. This battery is gonna go in and it's gonna work. I bet you that battery was worse than the battery that I had. And the guy at AutoZone was gonna test that battery too. He's like, when you get back there, have them test that battery. It's like, I can guarantee you, I can put my life on it. That is not a brand new battery. And if it is, it's been sitting there for fucking decades. Ow. <laughs> I just put a battery with a bigger amp charge in it. Six, uh... A 640, 50? I put a 650 in there. Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and close it all up, and then we'll cash you out and get you out of here, okay? okay? Sorry about I'm the GM, so I make sure okay. you get Okay, okay. Yeah. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. Alright, you guys just pulled up to the gym by the way do you guys love my new hat i love it i'm obsessed it's so cute i got it from tj maxx it was the last time i vlogged and i never showed you guys the haul the stuff's actually still in my car so depending on how much time i have i might show you guys when i get out of the gym but I just need to make sure I make it to the post office first. But anyways, you guys, I am still in shock about that whole situation. And on top of that, he lied to me about the price, okay? He tried to really get one over on me. Like, I should have gotten a way bigger discount. Remember I told you guys it was supposed to be 160. I thought that wasn't including tax, but that was including tax. When he was trying to get me to leave and blame it on the starter, he was like, oh, we'll give you a jump and we'll give you a discount. He goes, it was 199, I brought it down to 150. And I was like, 199 I thought it was 160 He's like, well, no, that's tax. $40 tax? You're telling me $40 tax. That's what you're telling me? I didn't say that at the time. I was, you guys, I, I was just so, like, am I in crazy town? Like, where am I? Like, you think because I'm a woman you can pull one on me? But that right there tells me that it wasn't 199 you were lying. And trust me, I will be calling um, corporate. They need to know what's going on because that's some bullshit. Again, I am so fucking grateful that I chose at the last minute to go to AutoZone instead of O'Reilly because that split decision, you guys, I'm telling you, this is the beauty of manifestation. That is a perfect example of your circumstances don't matter. Keep 
revising, keep affirming, and stand firm in what you know to be true, and that is you are always protected and supported, okay? And like I affirmed in that parking lot, no, I refuse to believe that it is the starter. It is not the starter, it is battery. It is going to get fixed. I am not playing games. I am not the one, and you better not test me. Now, it wasn't necessarily easy, but it is by the grace of God that I didn't leave there paying 150 for a battery that was dead to begin with. Because they were gonna give me a jump and have me scurry on out of there. You're gonna lie to me and say that you tested it twice? Bullshit. He's like, oh my God, I don't know how. I don't know how. I am not the one. I am not the one. Do not test me. But anyways, at the gym, about to go work out, and you guys, I could not be more fucking ecstatic. I need this workout to blow off some steam. I made a stop at Super Supplements to pick up an energy drink because I told you guys this morning I'm getting one. I ended up getting three because your girl just, it's been a day. It's been a day. So I ended up getting the Addison Ray collab. I got the Berry Pop one again. Such a good one. I got Trippy Hippie, which is Pina Colada, and then Cherry Slush, which is one of my faves. I honestly don't know which one I'm gonna drink. I'm feeling Trippy Hippie. I haven't had this one in a while. So we're gonna go with that. Um, I'm gonna hurry up and go in and get this workout in. What time is it? It's 2.13 actually, but let me prove it to you. It's 2.13, so yeah, that's the update for now. Okay, I will catch you guys on the flip side. I still gotta sorry that's loud still need to pack everything up I'm not very prepared Come on. still need to sign the cards too I'm very unprepared very unprepared Wow of this stuff up from the Dollar Tree and then I just got some cute little extra like candy goodies it's more Easter related oh. ah. and add some cute little oh how cute it looks so pretty and then I got the purple for contrast ah. oh cute I can't remember who won what, but just know that I'm setting this up so cute. So if it arrives on your doorstep and it looks a freaking mess, it's not my fault. Okay, I had good intentions. Cute, right? I thought so. How cute is that? Okay, I am so annoyed with myself. I didn't make it in time. I'm gonna have to come first thing tomorrow morning, and here's why. I'm almost positive I put both thank you cards in one of the boxes. I cannot find the card anywhere. It's gotta be in this box. And the post office is already closed. They just closed. So yeah, Rachel, just ignore that. You're gonna have two thank you notes in your box. It's 5.05 as I speak, and I'm just like over it. Just to get it back Don't know how it feels to 
be someone you love And it gets me down, 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 yeah I had you where I wanted you, never had to ask I'd set the world on fire just to get it back Don't know how it feels to be someone you love And it gets me down Good morning, it is the next day. I already got most of my morning routine done. I already went to the gym, stopped by for admire because I needed more tampons. Your girl just started her period, TMI, that time of the month, which honestly explains the last few days of bad eating. Um, but yeah, just made a coffee and I'm just sitting here trying to finish up this Amazon order um while i wait for the post office to open I already did my journaling and i got my to-do list out of the way so that's good um but yeah i'm just kind of killing time waiting for the post office to open like i said i'm about to make breakfast here in a minute and no i don't like to be the bad guy you know i don't lie i really miss you now done finishing up this Amazon order and I can't place it anyway because hello Miss Chloe hello Miss Chloe what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing are you, are you, so yeah just gonna continue yesterday's vlog I didn't think I was but here I am I'm just gonna continue it a little bit and yeah we'll see where the day takes us so grab a drink grab a snack which you probably already done because it's not a new vlog duh Let's think about it. Anyways, I'm all over the place. I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Cheers. But I had you where I wanted you. Never had to ask. I'd set the world on fire just to get it back. I don't know how it feels to be someone you love. And it gets me down. Yeah, I had you where I wanted you. Had you by my side. Was all I ever needed but couldn't realize. I don't know how it feels. just got done with the post office and honestly you guys like that was such a headache and a lot harder than it was supposed to be heads up to sabrina and rochelle you're going to be getting two different boxes i had to cut open your box because of the spray it had alcohol in it so i had to package those up separately ended up spending 61 dollars just to send all that which i'm not complaining and i'm just a little annoyed with myself because i thought i learned my lesson with the first couple giveaways and again if you get it and everything's mumble jumbled that's not how i wanted it to arrive i wanted it to arrive all pretty and cute so crossing my fingers it does that but anyways got that out of the way thank god that was like a big thing weighing on me and now I need to go back to the bank to pull out money because I didn't expect to spend that much because I need to go to Costco because I am pretty much all out of strawberries. And what else was I going to get when I was there? Oh, yeah. Derek needs more um, Gatorade for work and toilet paper. We are all out of toilet paper. I'm not going to take you guys with me. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was crazy, it was hectic, there was drama, there was tea, but a lot of good like productive, getting down to business, not taking no shit energy. So I'm okay with that. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here and you made it this far, consider subscribing before you leave. I would love for you to join the fam. Follow me on Instagram.
Instagram and TikTok if you want to keep up with me in real time, participate in polls and reels and lives and things like that. Enjoy the bloopers and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, I hit my hand on the thing. Yeah, that was rough. Bye guys. I'm able to take some Instagrams. Bitch, you hit my car. <laughs> Don't even. Oh, he's reversing. But anyways, I'm about to put on some good vibe music because did I not bring weed with me? I do not want to stop off at my house. Did I not bring weed with me? Oh my God. That will be, I mean, I have a little bit of a joint left. But I don't I don't want to smoke the end of a joint like no we need the whole shabam we need the whole panorama stop it just ate a freaking bug you weirdo why would you do that you nasty it's not ladylike glow Take it out monthly. Take it out monthly. Um, did you guys hear that? Did you guys not hear that? It was like a burp and a hiccup and a growl all in one. I don't know what the fuck that was, but anyways. I tried calling my mom, but she's at work. I didn't even think about that. Um, I was like, call me ASAP. Some shit went down and you need to hear the tea. I know I'm married, but damn. I've never seen somebody that fine with a mask on. Now I get why men kind of hit on women with masks on because I guess you can kind of tell if someone's pretty with it. Is that? Uh, mm. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget, yeah Maybe it's something